fellow students, we only arrived here four short years ago, and now it's already time to leave. How did it all go so fast? It seems like only yesterday, there were skinny little freshmen fighting with the locks on our lockers, <laughs> looking up to the upperclassmen. Now we are the upperclassmen, the seniors who stand here, ready to graduate and move forward in the world. Yet, at this seminal moment, we can't help looking back. How do we measure the time we spent in high school? In the beginning, we measured it in class periods, counting down the day to eventual freedom. As the days and weeks passed, we measured in semesters, and later in years as we moved throughout high school. <clears throat> we started off with those blues freshmen, and we became sophisticated sophomores who thought we were ready to go to school. And then into our junior year, we were confident we were prepared to take over for the graduating seniors. And now, here we stand. Our world is over, and it's up to the next class to step into our shoes and take over. I know that as I look out at you, I will measure my time here in a much different way. I will measure it in all the relationships I've enjoyed these last four years. Some were pretty casual, but others were much closer. I will remember each one fondly, as I'm sure you will too. We remember the memories we shared and the countless class hours we spent together. We remember playing around in Ms. Morris's room and going through her cabinets after we finished our work just to find something entertaining. We remember the inside jokes we had and all the conversations we wrote on paper in passing class. We remember being baptized in ninth grade and discovering the person God intended us to be. When we have gone our separate ways, the memories will fade. Things like our best grade or how well we did on a project, but the small things are what will matter the most. Such as the day you were nice to the new kid, and she became a lifelong friend. Or when you helped a friend cram for a biology quiz, and because they passed, you became a doctor and saved a life. Something as simple as eating lunch with each other and telling stories, then one day you repeat that story and it becomes your child's favorite. That's how we'll ultimately measure the time we spent here. Not in periods, or semesters, or years, but the friendships that we've made and the times we've shared together. We began high school as children, but we're leaving here as adults. We've completed basic education that will serve as a platform we use to launch ourselves into our futures. Some of us will go to college, others will go straight into the workforce, but each of us will travel our own path. Choose your path wisely, and don't let anyone make the decision for you. Use God as your compass, and you will never be off track. Always trust in Him, and He will show you the way, even through something as scary as graduating high school. No matter where we go or what we do, there are challenges ahead of us. What I'm asking from each of you, for myself, is to meet those challenges straight on with your head held high and your heart wide open. It's not enough to simply get by in life. That doesn't move the world forward. You must try to excel in everything you do, strive for excellence in every task, large or small. Whether you noticed it or not, this is what we were taught here. Our classes became progressively harder throughout the four years. And our teachers helped us overcome each challenge, sometimes more than others. They taught us how to look at adversity in the face and walk right over it. The world is full of challenges and hard times, but we don't have to worry. Thanks to the help of our teachers, God, and family, we've been prepared for these things. Although it may not be easy to see, every accomplishment you achieve is added to the world's accomplishments. Your individual successes benefit society as a whole because when you succeed, you lighten the burden on your fellow man. When you succeed, you're in a position to give rather than take. Imagine if every individual lived up to his or own, her own potential. Think about how amazing that would be, and how much better off the world would be. We may not have the power to inspire the entire world to strive for success, but we do have the power to achieve it for ourselves. My challenge to each of you and to myself is to do all that you can do to reach your full potential. The future is truly in our hands. Let's make the most of it. To our teachers, thank you for so unselfishly sharing your time, talent, and knowledge. Yes, we know it was your job, but what you did went beyond the call of duty. You took the time to explain the assignments, sometimes repeatedly because we weren't paying attention. You allowed us to come to your classroom after school for extra help when you could have gone home to spend time with your family. You put in the effort to make lessons more interesting, so we wouldn't just tune out. You demanded excellence from us, whether we wanted to give it or not. You set the bar high and challenged us to live up to it. To our parents, 
Thank you for supporting us in more ways than it's possible to count. You dragged us out of bed each morning, made sure we were fed and clothed for school. You herded us out to lift our cars or drove us to school yourselves. You helped us with homework, even when it was the night before our science parties were due. You still said that helped and helped finish just in time. You listened to our complaints, whether it was about a person or an assignment. You were always there. You commiserated over our daily dramas, but you tried to give us enough space to learn how to work things out for ourselves. You came to our plays, attended our sporting events, and chaperoned our dances. These are just a few of the thousands of ways you supported us on our journey. I know none of you are really ready for your child to leave home, despite how much you say you are. But this is, the, this is part of being a parent. We have been with you our entire lives, and you have been training us each day. First it was to walk and speak, well I'm sure sometimes you guys regret that. <laughs> <laughs> then came potty training, and after that it was a little thing such as doing chores, learning a sport, or how to navigate our Bibles. <coughs> Later in life, you taught us how to be young men, win, men and women, and how to date. You taught us how to drive and be safe on the road, and after proving ourselves, you allowed us to drive on our own. At first, we thought you were just teaching us how to be human. But looking back, every little thing you taught us, or corrected us, was all in preparation for this. This enormous milestone in our lives we call graduation. For almost 18 years now, our parents have been slowly preparing us to enter the world and survive on our own. Now, it is time to trust that we've learned from you and heeded your advice. It is time to let us leave the nest and try it on our own, knowing that we can return to our safe haven if necessary. To our coaches and advisors, thank you for making school more about just classwork. Through sports, we learned how to power on through adversity and give it our best effort, win or lose. We learned the importance of discipline good sportsmanship. Through other activities, like participating in clubs, school plays, and service projects, we learned how to work closely with each other to achieve a common goal, and we had a lot of fun doing it. To our custodial staff and lunchroom attendants, thank you for keeping our school clean and safe. You know better than anybody else how much slobs we are. We <laughs> some kind of metal. To our principal and all the office staff, thank you for keeping the school running. That way, our teachers can concentrate on us. We're better off for it. To our guidance counselor, thank you for listening and trying to keep us on the right track. Without your help, some of us might not be graduating today. As you can see, behind each student, there must have been at least a dozen people supporting them in at least a dozen ways. The best way we graduates can show our gratitude is to make the most of every opportunity we've been given and go forward into the world with the intention of making it a better place for generations that follow us. We'll pay the debt of gratitude forward. It is now time for each of us to take that step into the world. From here, it only gets harder.